All right. All right. Well, perhaps you see what my next video is going to be about. I'm Beak Supreme, and this is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. As you can see, I got a Nintendo NES system right here that I just landed this Apache helicopter onto, as I alluded to in one of my previous videos. Um, a helicopter flying video. <coughs> My Nintendo NES I've had for this one since 2004. I got it second hand and it had uh, practically everything in there, uh, even the styrofoam packaging. This little cabinet I've had since uh, the year 1992, I believe. Uh, it was in perfectly good condition until somebody broke it in the year 2010 or the year 2011. Um, Okay, I've had these games since the 1990s. The original Gold Zelda, the first Zelda in gold. The uh, original Gold Zelda 2, Adventures of Link. Got this from a friend. It's still got all of our save game files from 20 years ago. Uh, who didn't have Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt? Um, we got Mario 2, Mario 3, still got my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, uh, from 1992, um, that's not when it released, that's when I got it, still in really, really good shape, practically looks brand new, uh, you see Rocketeer on the screen there, you hear the music, I've got this cartridge twice, I've got two of them, I believe i got two Super Mario Bros. 3, I got three Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. I've got two Felix the Cat. I've got um, two Darkwing Duck because I really like it. Um, oh, another uh, another classic. The original Metroid with pixelated graphic label. Not the 1992 uh, re-release. Uh, Kung Fu pixelated label. Uh, pinball, pixelated label, Excite Bike, the original, pixelated label. Oh, here's another rare uh, coveted game that uh, costs a bunch of money if you go to buy it. Uh, Kid Icarus, pixelated label. Um, some of my most favorites to play are right here in this row. Some of the more valuable ones here. I got a uh, Rad Racer, pixelated label, of course. Um, Hogan's Alley, pixelated label. Uh, some of the classics. Galaga, Burger Time, Commando, Pac Man. These are the arcade classics here. Uh, one of my most favorite games. Mentioned it in the previous video, Maniac Mansion on the NES. I got the actual cartridge. Uh, another cool game I got is the um, the original Castlevania. I also got Castlevania 3 somewhere around here. Uh, one of me and Tom's favorite, uh, River City Ransom. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I still got my Game Genie from uh, 20 years ago, of course, right now. It's still 2012, uh, November 3rd, 2012. So this is a uh, full 20 years old. Still works just fine. Um, as I might just go ahead and demonstrate. Turn off my NES. I know I'll make long videos and they're not always straight to the point, but there's a lot of information going on in my head. Oh gosh. Don't I have it seated in there properly? Alright, there we go. The original Game Genie. Works. Ah. And the reason why I'm going to make this next video is about disabling the lockout chip. Uh, yesterday, which was uh, November 2nd, 2012, I watched some videos about um, 
how to disable the uh, the lockout chip on the uh, Nintendo NES. I'm going to have to get in there, either uh, break a pin or I'm going to have to solder something to ground. I'm going to look a little more into it. This is my only Nintendo NES at the time, or right now. I've got two Super Nintendos. i got two GameCubes. I want to get me a second NES and maybe a second Sega Genesis. Um, I've been collecting some of this stuff since I was a kid. Uh, now I'm 32 years old. Got into Nintendo. Um, a friend of mine started uh, getting me on it in the late 1980s, but I didn't get mine till Christmas of 1991. Um, and 90, no, 1992 was a big year for me. Uh, so that's that. And uh, just these are not all my games. I have several more. Just these are some of my favorites, and I've organized them in here. I wish I had another one of these cabinets. Uh, that'd be great. It'd be nice to have one for the Super Nintendo, but I don't have one. Uh, here's my Raspberry Pi Model B. Uh, just among other things. Uh, yeah, my next video uh, for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel will be probably modding my NES. At least it's going to be one of the next video game. Uh, 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 one of the next uh, videos about gaming and all that. Uh, now uh, I could uh, play some Maniac Mansion and make another video about that. Uh, but this is an upcoming video here about modding my system. Uh, I'm not the first person to do it. I, I did not originate the idea. I saw a few videos yesterday on YouTube. Uh, at least three other people have done it. Uh, it's one of the main problems for um, why the system light blinks the way it does whenever there's not a game in there. And there's times when you have a game in there and it still blinks like that. It causes a screen to flash gray and white uh, because the lockout chip resets the uh, the processor. It inter it actually interrupts it and uh, resets it and well, keeps it from uh, from starting up. And it does that every second. You can actually count it here. Yeah, about one second apart in frequency. And um, it, it's a pain. It, another another part of the problem is that there's no uh, insertion force uh, originally with the uh, with the NES. The uh, the games are made to slide right in and sliding with ease. There's no insertion force. I mean, th th it's so weak that you can almost use gravity if you were to turn the system a certain way. And you almost use gravity to slide a game in. It's not very good. Other systems, such as the uh, Super Nintendo, required uh, some... F oh, oh, Super Metroid. A very, very good game. Um, the Super, uh, the Super Nintendo required some force and uh, a pretty good amount of force uh, to insert it. The Sega Genesis, I believe, required even more force, which is actually good because it means that you get a good electrical connection. Uh, that's, th there's, there's problems in the Nintendo NES like that. Other than that, the Nintendo NES is a nice system based upon the venerable MOS 6502 microarchitecture. Uh, so anyway, I am Beak Supreme, and this video will be for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. Uh, pet some, and I'm going to enjoy flying helicopters some more.